Hey everyone, I'm Tardicade and welcome back to another creative build video. Today we're going to be doing a mushroom house because I have been seeing these all over the place and I have been wanting to do one for such a long time. So it was so much fun to build. So let's let's get into it. Right off the bat, I struggled getting the, the size right because I didn't want it to be like a giant mushroom, but you, you have to make sure that there's enough space on the inside to actually be able to decorate it. So it took a minute to get that right. But overall, this was a pretty quick build. I think it took me a couple hours, maybe, uh, real, real fast. And I really liked messing with getting the gradient here. It was a lot of fun just, you know, getting it super rough, nothing really symmetrical or anything. And I really wanted it to look really organic. So I did uh, mushrooms for the floor and I used the kind of exposed mushroom texture that you get when you place blocks over the top of it and I think it's got a nice really mild look. Moving on to the roof I really like the color of the warped nylium blocks. It's got a really nice texture also so I, I thought it looked really nice with the white mushroom block there and I did I did do a really weird roof starting out here that that did not look right so I decided to go for more of like a kind of hanging vibe which I didn't I do tend to do a lot um, but I think it, it it's a really kind of whimsical aesthetic that I really enjoy doing in my builds and it reminded me of a lot of the vines that they've added into the nether that I thought would that this would fit like right at home in and I, I probably should have built this in that biome and after I built this roof I thought that this right at home there so I think that this might be something really cool to fit in there probably in another build so but essentially a good way to get these kind of roofs is to just keep everything not really touching and different lengths on them and it's it'll just be kind of inconsistent is the best way to put it really heading inside there's not a whole lot of space to work with so I wanted to make sure to put a loft up there for storage and an enchanting table and I, I really struggled to work around how to fit everything it felt like I was designing a kind of like tiny house so things got shifted around a lot I, I thought I had a good layout until I tried to figure out how to fit a couch and then everything kind of got rearranged and I had to shrink down the kitchen a bit and make everything a bit more compact but I think it ended up being really cute in the end, so I I was for sure happy with it. Going into the loft, I decided to keep things pretty cluttered uh, just because I thought it fit the whimsical vibe and I knew that they would need lots of storage for whoever is going to live in this mushroom house. So, And I put these little um, carpets to act as little cushion seat things. There's probably in retrospect way more than they would ever need. I got a little carried away with the cuteness of them. All right, everybody, that is the mushroom house done. And I just wanted to take a second to thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, let me know what you think. I thought that this one turned out really neat, uh, but I know that mushrooms don't really tend to grow like that. So uh, I don't know, let me know your opinion. And if you liked it, consider subscribing, liking, you know, all those good things, but mostly just, you know, thank you.